Well, I'm at the grocery store and it looks like Hubby decided on doing prime rib. Oh, wow. Awesome. That Thank you. Yum, yum, yum. So I have my prime rib and basically as soon as I brought it from the store I just allowed it to rest so it's at room temperature and what I have on it is basically coarse sea salt um, it's a gray salt and um, rosemary, thyme, garlic, olive oil and white and black peppercorns so now I'm just going to put it into a 400 degree oven and have it cooking for a bit and then I'm going to turn down the heat back to 350. So I just wanted to do a quick um, grocery haul. The first thing that I purchased were shiitake mushrooms. I absolutely absolutely love these in salads I love these in salads um, I love to put these in soups so I purchased um, these mushrooms I also purchased green onions and this is for the uh, beef Asian noodle soups that I'm going to be making and I don't really I do like to buy the ones that are already, you know, packaged, the little bowls, but those are really high in sodium, and I like to control that myself, so I'm pretty much making uh, my own soup, and uh, so the mushrooms will go in there, as well as the green onions, and I We'll also put some bok choy in there, and I purchased uh, two bags of that. I also purchased some um, I purchased some jasmine rice, these uh, shrimp flavored chips. I also purchased I also picked up some fresh green beans. I absolutely love fresh green beans and anything, any vegetable that's green I actually really like a lot. I picked up some mint and I like to put these in my waters or drinks that I make. I also I also have some chicken drumettes and these are the little mini ones. Some beef bouillon for the soups. I picked up these are boneless pork. These are boneless pork chops. And these are very paper thin uh, slices of beef. And um, these are for the beef noodle soups that I'm going to be making, the Asian style. I have baby tomatoes, which I absolutely love in salads, or I like roasting them. These are the noodles for the Asian soups that I'm going to be making. I also picked up a ruby red grapefruit. I love that some more sesame oil I have some whole uh, shrimps I don't think you can see these but um, they're the uncooked shrimps and these still have the heads on them but I like to roast these with the heads on uh, and the shell because it keeps their juices so um, bought that and then I bought about a pound of salad shrimp also some salmon and that's packaged so you can't see it but um, I'm gonna go ahead and with the salmon what I like to do is I like to bake it in the oven with uh, some soy sauce and a little bit of sesame oil and that's about it that 
Okay, so the ingredients that you will need for your roasted shrimp are obviously the shrimp. And most of the time, um, if I'm able to get them with the heads on, then I do that. And that's only because the shrimp kind of keep their flavor with the heads on. And, um, you know, they retain the flavor more. And if not, then you can definitely just uh, pick up the shrimp that uh, don't have the heads on them. But I have some uncooked shrimp with the heads on. And I will go ahead and use olive oil. This is a Chinese um, chili garlic sauce. You'll need lemon rosemary and thyme. I have two separate kinds of chili powder. I also have rosemary and thyme um, in the dried form so you can use fresh if you have fresh and if not use the dried. I have parsley, garlic, here is red pepper flakes, this is coarse sea salt and onion. And what I'm going to do is just um, grab all of my spices, put them in my bowl along with the lemon, olive oil, and maybe two tablespoons of my chili sauce. spices. Like that. I have about um, two tablespoons of the Chinese chili sauce. And I'm Squeezing in the juice of two lemons. Now I'm just going to mix it all together. Okay, so I'm just going to cover this up, put it in my fridge, and just kind of have the shrimp marinate in all of this yummy sauce. And um, I'm probably going to leave it in there, probably for a couple of hours. Making some steaks, and basically with olive oil, butter, and I have put some black pepper on it. So I just um, so I just took the shrimp out of the oven and this is what they look like and um, I pretty much just put it under broil and this is what it should look like so we are going to accompany the shrimp with um, some steak and I've made my little concoction here of blue cheese and A1 and uh, if you haven't tried this with your steak it's absolutely divine so that is the recipe for my roasted shrimp I hope that you enjoyed it and thanks for watching bye guys